What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So guys, today we're going to be doing a tier list for shotguns in Fortnite. If you guys don't know what a tier list is, it's basically a way to rank things, alright? So the best is S and the worst is F, as you can see right here on the screen. Now a lot of big YouTubers have been doing this recently. I'm going to show you guys some clips right now. Today, we are rating the Pokemon that we find <laughs> the most <laughs> sexually attractive. Okay guys, this is a fast food restaurant tier list. The power rankings of YouTube pranksters. So I thought, why not do it with Fortnite? I'm going to start off by doing it with shotguns today, and then we'll make another video with some other things in Fortnite after. But before we get into the video, I want to remind you guys to make sure you guys are using my supporter creator code in the item shop. And also, if you're new to the channel, make sure you guys are subscribing. But all right, guys, let's get into it. All right, guys, so we're going to set some ground rules for this tier list. These shotguns are going to be judged on their highest point, their best point that they've ever been at in the game. The pump has had some dark moments in Fortnite, as a lot of you guys know, and it's also had some amazing moments in Fortnite. So we're going to be judging each weapon on its best point it's ever been at, all right? And we're going to start off with the tack shotgun. So the tack shotgun has definitely been the best gun in the game at certain points. There was a, there was a big couple maybe even like a whole season where the it might have been season three ish season four ish i think it was season four ish i'm pretty sure if i remember correctly where the tack was the best gun in the game it was right when they took out double pump they gave it a nice buff so the tack actually was worth using because it was hitting for like i think a hundred and something a headshot from up close it's similar to the way that the tack is now but there was a purple version that did even more damage the tack isn't horrible in the game right now but it's definitely at like one of its lowest points i would say for sure it's not its highest point but it's a lot higher than it was last season. I think we can all agree that attack is a lot better than it was last season, the season before that, the season before that. It's just a way better gun. But that being said, at the attack's highest point, I think I'm going to give it a D. All right, so the next shotgun we're going to be talking about is the heavy. Now, again, the heavy, just like the attack, had, had a point in the game where the heavy was the best gun in Fortnite, hands down. There was a moment when the heavy was hitting for 200 plus a headshot, and it was just an amazing gun, and it had a high rate of fire. The heavy shotgun lasted kind of long. It did get vaulted, which is kind of sad because, you know, it was a lot better than the TAC. I would have rather the TAC get vaulted and they kept the heavy in. It was like a better version of the TAC, kind of. But they vaulted it, and I think the that being said, the fact that it got vaulted, the fact that it, it wasn't on top for that long. Let's be honest, the, the heavy shotgun was not on top for that long. It was the best shotgun in the game, but it wasn't that long before they buffed it. I mean, nerfed it, sorry. That being said, I'm going to give the heavy shotgun a C. Alright, so next we're going to be talking about the pump. The OG pump, the one that went from grey to blue. They removed the grey and it was uh, green and blue. Double pump bring a lot of people in the game. You know, it also made a lot of people keep playing the game because of how much fun it was to play with. When they took out double pump and the pump got nerfed, it was kind of like one of the worst things to happen to Fortnite. And a lot of us stopped playing the game because of that. But again, the pump had so many good moments, man. Like last season, it was a pretty good, it was a very good weapon. I shouldn't say pretty good. It was a very good shotgun to use. One of the best. And that being said, I think that the pump shotgun deserves an A. All right, so next we're going to talk about the double barrel shotgun. The double barrel shotgun, a lot of people liked. I never liked it. And this is my tier list, so... Just keep that in mind. I didn't like it because, yeah, sure, if you hit somebody with two shots, it was doing 200 plus damage, but that was it. And around the time that they added the double barrel, they nerfed the pump. So this was our alternative. It was to use the new shotgun, the double barrel. And I didn't like it. It wasn't that good. It didn't last long in the game, and I think the reason it didn't last long is because Epic realized it just didn't work as a gun in Fortnite. Only being able to hit two shots and then having to reload in a long reload time, sure, it did a lot of damage, but... I'm going to have to give this a D. I'm going to put it on the same level as the tech. All right, so next we're going to be talking about the gold and purple pump. Now, this is by far the best shotgun in the game. I know it got vaulted, obviously, but it was the best shotgun in the game. The whole time it was in the, the Fortnite game, I think it was about a full season, if I if I remember correctly, maybe even longer. Let me know in the comments below how long that gun was, the gold and purple versions were in the game. But the whole time it was in the game, it was the best shotgun. There's no questions about it. It was the best shotgun for the whole time it was in the game. And it never did, like, it never let me down. I love that shotgun. They did such a good job with it. The design was amazing. It looked so badass. It was such a satisfying shotgun when you hit someone for a headshot with it. And to be honest, when you look at most people's Zone Wars, Turtle Wars, 
everyone has the the pump shotgun in it, the gold and purple pump shotgun. And I think the reason for that is just because it's such a satisfying hit. It does so much damage, and therefore, I'm gonna have to give it an S. Now, last but not least, we have the combat shotgun, or whatever the hell the name is. I don't even know what the name is right now, I forget. But anyway, the new shotgun. A lot of people don't like this gun, and a lot of people do. So it's basically split down the middle. I hear a lot of people saying they love it, and a lot of people saying they hate it. Me, personally, I don't like it. I think that we deserve a shotgun that does a lot more damage. Having to hit someone three times to kill them kind of doesn't make sense from a shotgun. It has the best range out of every shotgun. There was a big period of time when the heavy shotgun had a crazy amount of range. But I think everyone can agree this is the best range we've ever seen on a shotgun. Again, the damage is bad. And right now, in the current game, it is so hard to find one. I don't understand why Epic has two shotguns in the game, and they're so hard to find. I'm not going to be able to give this shotgun any lower or higher than a B. I think it deserves to be at a B. In my eyes, looking back at it, I think it's better than the heavy. I think it's better than the tack, better than the double barrel. But there's no way it's better than the pumps. So, therefore, this is the ranking. We have the gold and purple pump at an S tier. We have the pump shotgun at an A tier. We have the combat shotgun at a B tier. We have the heavy shotgun at a C tier. And in D tier, we have the pump and tack shotgun. Now guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you guys have any more ideas for Fortnite videos like this. I was thinking about doing another one. Um, but if you guys enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments. And also guys, let me know what your ranking is in the comments. Let me know where you guys put these shotguns. But that's going to wrap this video up. If you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like. And remember guys, if you're new to the channel, drop a sub. We're on that road to 4K right now. So we're grinding every day, streaming daily. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.